Okay, loves, welcome back to Exotic Tea Blog. I'm back with another video. Before we get into this one, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so every single time I post, you'll be notified. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome. Please hit the subscribe button and I love you. We turn the subscribe to y'all. keep doing. She also love you guys too. Now, let's get into today's video. So, it has now been reported by Char Ditter the Lotto Sugar Honey Ice Tea returns to the top 100 on this week billboard album charts and it has stayed for its 11th week charting so let me know if you feel about it down below in the comment well so we um radio and also playlisting that is why she's still on the charts okay if you're looking she's not doing them sales but she's charting on the billboard 200 album charts okay this is great because scratch off she don't really sell like that and um people don't really care about the sugar honey icy album okay people do not really care about the sugar honey icy album and here is the gag okay yeah is the gag if she stays more weak than megan the stallion album a three-time grammy award winner backed up by rock nation aka um her girl production and also one of music that is gonna be crazy okay if lado sugar honey icy album stays more weeks than megan stallion album on the album chart that is going to be crazy okay megan is going to be receiving donkey of the year and on top of that didn't um people said um sugar honey icy was better than megan the stallion album yeah hypothetically people was coming out to say that um lado's album was more better than megan stallion album whelps here is the gag i do not like the both of them okay i don't like the book album neither the two artists but i'm gonna tell y'all people um enjoyed lado's album more than megan the stallion album megan just has one cadence nothing was different on the megan album i'm gonna tell y'all and that is the real fact she didn't bring nothing new to the table the same old cadence the same old flow still this in Nicki minaj this in some rap girls this in drake this in whatever she was this in but there was nothing really different okay lado had georgia peach she had um broke key she had momentum songs megan just had a diss track um mamushi a tiktok song there was nothing pop you know megan the stallion album but people online are coming out to say lado's album is way better than megan the stallion album so do you guys agree with that let me know down below in the comment if i was to rate them both i would give lado a four i would give megan the stallion a one out of ten no shade the both album was not my cup of tea but let me know if you feel about this topic down below moving over from that now to the queen of rap Nicki minaj so um jimmy fallon announced his album his christmas album and he has a song with megan and ariana grande it was a max christmas and um people was coming out to say whoa ari and Nicki minaj sisterhood is finished they was coming out to say well was Nicki and ari and cool and also do not forget that ari was out here saying she adores megan the stallion on her ig story this year so um that is old okay this song is old they did it 2021 so i don't know why y'all coming out of crash out over um Nicki minaj ariana grande megan stallion this shit is old okay i saw y'all different tweets online coming out to say Nicki and ari and cool again this is old okay this is since 2021 i think he's trying to like rebrand it just like the way maria carey comes out every single year milking the all i want for christmas on the full christmas song she been put out years ago i think that is what he's trying to do y'all shouldn't come out and say and um nikki is an arian cool and i don't think Nicki minaj really cares okay y'all should stop making it feel like Nicki minaj cares if someone she like or her friends or her peers collaborate with her up then she's not going to stop talking with them that's 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 crazy okay i don't think Nicki minaj gives a flying f even when um she could be sex red and sex red with pussy ladder on her story nikki still come out here to show love to sex red so i don't think she cares about what her friends are doing with the girls as far as they're not talking about her as far as they're not doing something nasty or shady towards her right after linking up with an up i think she could be there okay the only way she's not going to be cool with that is if ari starts shading her or um subliminally distancing herself from Nicki Minaj I think that is when Nicki Minaj is gonna care but let me know if you feel about it down below moving over from there Nicki went on IG live 
and she looked stunning okay she looked stunning this was um a selfie she posted on her instagram story and i'm gonna tell y'all this this woman is fucking beautiful okay no matter how y'all come out every single day saying oh she's not pretty in the face she always on makeup she's always on theater this woman is pretty okay the woman on my screen she is a pretty woman okay and um i really 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 thank y'all if you want to be like this in their 40s because why is she looking younger than the younger rap girls why is she looking younger than the girls okay why is she coming out here to look younger than the girls but child nikki also on her live she talked about her um gag city app she said um she was trying to make a post up there but uh, she couldn't post from her camera when she logged out okay she tweeted it but yeah she was on ig live she was advising the barbs okay she was advising the bars but some people feel like she was shady making the stallion because she was talking about her nose she was telling y'all that y'all should make your nose or go and work on your nose because you see she has pointy nose she being got there right from birth okay she was telling y'all that she ain't got nothing like surgery on her face she got that pointy nose right from birth so y'all girlies shouldn't go and do it because y'all see she got something like that and y'all thought she worked on her nose no she didn't do stuff like that okay that was when nikki was coming out to tell her things but people felt like she was shading megan in the stadium because we all know megan knows be transforming okay megan knows be transforming even on the bigfoot swan nikki said um nikki dissed her big her new nose nikki talked about her new nose so this is why people felt like oh nikki is shady megan but y'all should listen to what nikki minaj said on live guys i hope no one went and altered their nose honey child i have had a what i called a pointy nose with or without contour with or without filter since i was born okay my mother told me two things about it she said i have a hump on my nose she said it was a witch nose and she said it was from my indian side but I'm still happy I left my nose alone. So I hope none of y'all went changing y'all nose, hoping or thinking that I changed mine, cause I swear to Why is it so difficult to be honest and upfront about your intentions? You may take so many different things but i beg of you don't even try to take me the idiot okay but why is it that people find it so difficult to just be upfront about their intentions in business why is it always let's play blues clues why is it always okay so y'all should let me know you feel about it down below do y'all feel like nikki was shady megan the stallion do y'all feel like nikki was just advising her fans not to work on their nose i think nikki advising her fans the rap girls a single person does look up so hard i mean she telling y'all that she ain't gotten like surgery on her face she has been like that right from the one okay and that is one thing about Nicki Minaj she tells y'all the truth she do not come out here lying about this and that and on top of that I mean she looked so pretty in the face okay she looked so pretty in the face um her face card never declined and um she ain't got nothing like surgery in her face okay the eye the nose the lips nothing is surgery of uh, that face like this the one you're seeing now looks pretty in reality i know you haven't seen Nicki minaj lab but if you went to gag city you may, you pay for vip you would have seen the queen she's stunned okay <laughs> nikki is a stunner so let me know how you feel about it down below in the comment and she also talked about how um business people do not come up with their intentions right in the first place so you guys should put your thoughts and opinion on that 
now this is Nicki minaj official 2025 grammy submission she submitted pink friday 2 for album of the year best rap album best engineered album ftcu record of the year best rap performance best rap song everybody song of the year best pub deal slash group performance let me calm down best rap performance and rmb best melodic rap performance okay so let me know if you feel about this down below in the comment with these submissions nikki needs to get a nomination and she needs to win okay right if we trying to study um in the right way if the grammys is going to play fair nikki deserves to win something i feel like she needs to win album of the year now sorry 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 y'all shouldn't come for me best rap album of the year okay she had the best rap rap album of the year y'all cannot deny that okay all these ninjas and girlies they didn't put out their album they, nobody talked about them a few months after that but we still gagging and we still gagging out gagging and gagging and gagging and talking about gag city okay so yeah nikki deserves to win best rap album and also fuck the club up was great let me calm down deserve to win best rap performance okay that was one of the best best rap performers but um we got kendrick lamar up there so let's see how it's gonna be but moving over from there now to the industrial plastic bag i want to talk about this a little because um the delusional gang was coming out and say oh y'all should pray for cardi y'all should stop saying this pr stunt y'all stop saying this pr stunt this is real somebody's trying to call her home somebody called the cps on her somebody did it somebody did it but um wasn't Nicki Minaj going through the same thing last year and y'all was the one trolling Nicki Minaj? Wasn't it the delusional gang that was trolling Nicki Minaj? Oh now it's Cardi B. We should all cry. We should all pray. We should all say, oh Cardi B should be all safe. The children should be safe. They doing stuff like that. No, we're not about to do that. Okay. We're not about to do that. Cardi B was out here in her fiends. They was out here clowning Nicki Minaj. When y'all started doing this to Nicki Minaj, because damn where I know it's the delusional gang that started this shit. They was the one that did it to Nicki Minaj. Y'all ain't telling me nothing. I'm not sure you're clicking nothing on this topic. They did it to Nicki Minaj and now um somebody doing a Cardi B. They coming out to say, oh, y'all should pray for Cardi B. Y'all stop saying this PR stunt. She's actually going through it. Way ups. I do not believe that. Okay. If somebody's actually doing this to her, it's what you call karma. Okay. It's what you call karma. But if nobody doing the shit to this girl, if nobody doing the shit to this girl, it's a PR stunt. She wants to be talked about okay she is hungry she is obsessed with a publicity stunt that is cardi b she needs something to roll out the album she needs something to push out the album so she's going to come up here and try and do whatever she can do to get the people talking okay she is going to do something like that so um i want to see y'all coming out and say oh no 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 y'all should pray for cardi b oh she's going through it they're trying to play with her they're trying to mess with her they no 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 stop that okay darling do not be delusional we're not doing that today okay we're not doing that today i'm done with cardi b and the whole pr stunt stuff we all know her okay she been doing this for a very long time she been doing this ever since she came in the game so spare me that shit and i don't care if y'all think we should pray for her because i'm not praying for that girl and on top of that i see if the pr son she did yesterday and then for yesterday wasn't enough she came out here starting another one with after flop and i told y'all this girl is obsessed with them pr stunts she put out a tweet saying bro i wish the worst on this man i never hated on somebody so much and these b words be so thirsty to have him please take this man off my hands this garbage bag is too heavy and the fan responded to this saying yep you still love him okay and that is t that is t okay that is t do not act slow and she responded to the fan that said yep you still love him she said no i don't i want him to get hit by a effing truck he really just a dark cloud on anybody's life he enters okay so the industrial plastic bag do not only write spells but she's out here wishing for her man her black man 
to get hit by a truck oh my god this girl is crazy okay but anyways child i'm not about to fall for that okay the tweet was catchy but i'm not about to fall for that this is a pr stunt okay this girl we be clocking your ass a single day you be coming out with the egg dumb a single time girl stop it okay like stop it we know you trying to roll out your album you're trying to get another be careful moment you're trying to do something that's gonna have the people crying and also showing you sympathy and the industry is going to give you payola because you're going through it with your husband again i mean we know the whole thing you are a one freak pony at this point try to switch it up okay if i'm doing something and the general public start to notice i'm doing this thing and they are tired of it i will try to switch it up because i want to come out here looking dumb and acting like a one freak pony but cardi b always have the same pr stunt that is so predictable so she needs to spam me this shit okay girl you might as well want to shove this one into ken barbie mouth oh uh, we do not care about this shit okay keep it to yourself keep it to the delusional gang and three two one i don't want her coming on no twitter space to rant about after flop girl spam me this shit well it looks like maggie 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 the seahorse is getting clowned okay it's looking like she's she been getting clowned all throughout um last this week ever since glorilla came out she and slapped her in the face out so the wackas album the bars been out and on top of that <laughs> jesus christ she been getting clowned okay um ever since glorilla whacked her dumbass on the album charts and she was reported to lift the album chart after 15 weeks of charting because her album was trash and nobody really cared about the megan Pegan album and um she coming out sad on top of that she came out here looking a mess and they was out here dragging ken barbie because she looked a mess when she was the one that dressed out and look a mess but yeah they've been out here clowning megan the stallion and it really feels like um she made a foolish album okay <laughs> no i said the wrong word she made a trash album nobody cared about that album okay nobody gave two cent about megan the stallion album i know y'all can pretend all you want y'all can pretend you like the album y'all can pretend you really love the album no but um the real c is y'all don't care about that album y'all don't care about the girl because if y'all really cared y'all the stream y'all the support okay if y'all really care y'all to keep buying y'all to keep doing she horrible y'all didn't do she and she left the chart 15 weeks and y'all was the one coming out to say oh pink friday 2 was trash pink friday 2 was trash but pink friday 2 stayed in the chart for 34 weeks why didn't y'all girl do it okay why didn't y'all girl do it they said weeks on the billboard 200 album chart pink friday 2 34 weeks um jay-z side chic megan <laughs> megan the stallion album stay 15 weeks on the chart and it's out okay she's getting clowned okay now um the u.s album chart preview for the next week yes 85k sabrina carpenter um what do they call the album sabrina carpenter albums called what um short and sweet 77k 17 71k um jelly royce 63k raw wave 60k okay raw wave is setting in the second week that is great chappelle room 48k um big billy eilish 47k morgan whirlin 46k and glorilla 45k and i see some people trying to laugh at glorilla most especially megan the stallion fans then she fall down to the number 10 sport next week that um people do not really care about her album reps let's get into this megan and glorilla had two different weeks megan sold 30k on her second week and glorilla is really traveling because this is a pretty um competitive week okay competitive week you have um big albums like short and sweet you have Raw wave dominating you have chapel room you have big billy eilish you have um jelly roy okay you've got plenty of big artists up here and glow is doing 45k second week i'll tell you megan the stallion second week so that is great okay but my whole thing why can't those girls do 100k why do y'all let nikki do 228k actually 328k but billboard decided to be funny but why can't y'all girls sell that is the t okay we better clock that t clock it okay we better clock that t girl clock it why is nikki the only female rapper doing over a 228k 300k in her whole career 
because she the only great female rapper out no shade that is a t but anyway shall put your thoughts and your opinion about this topic down below don't forget to like comment share, subscribe and notification bell and i'll talk to you guys in the next video